Still TV3, new day. And now let's do something a little more creative and relaxed. It's a Monday morning. I know everybody is, you know, busy trying to get to work in the office, trying to set the week uh, on the right tone and all of that. But it's time to talk about makeup and not just makeup, but prosthetic makeup or what we popularly call special effects makeup. Now, this dates back to 1902, where the first kind of prosthetic makeup was done for a movie, uh, La Voyage dans la Lune, uh, which means a trip to the moon. And ever since then, it's been inculcated into our movies, especially, you know, outside the country. It's gradually, um, you know, gaining some grounds in Ghana as well. We've seen a number of movies in the country that that have relied on special effects makeup and today we have a young man in the studios who's very uh used to this kind of makeup that's what he does he's a special effects makeup artist and also a facilitator he is um nathaniel Ameuga, but popularly known as cruz k and our model today is abigail amwa good morning and welcome good quickly morning. before we start this conversation i'd like to say happy birthday to our director michael anani it's your birthday today god bless you so much we love you and we're waiting for the cake so we can cut and eat. And breakfast is on you. Thank you. Now, also, happy birthday to Sedinam Yevu. Uh, you are five today. And this is to Abigail Mauto Yevu as well. Uh, mother and daughter. Both of you are celebrating your birthday. And Mavis and the entire family are saying happy birthday to you. Also, to Percy Amankwa. Percy is Amankwa. I hear that's your name. You are once an intern here at TV3. You are GIJ. Happy birthday. And enjoy your day. And also, quick one uh, going out to... Uh, Esther and Lawrence Osei Boating of Tema. It's your 13th wedding anniversary. We would praise him for all that is past and trust him for all that is to come. And also, happy Big 40 to Grace Akuba Apia Kuonu. Uh, may God fulfill your heart's desire from all stuff of fair trade and shared interest. And so again, Nathaniel Amelga is my guest today. We're talking special effects makeup. How are you? I'm good. How yeah. long have you been into special effects makeup? Okay, so this is my fifth year. Fifth year? Yes. How did you develop this interest? Were you a makeup artist before? How did oh, you discover So, uh, basically, I wanted to be an actor. Okay. And so I went to school and... That you went was to film school? Yes. Which one, Nafti? Oh, uh, no, GHPDA school. Okay. So and that was what happened? Began. And then what happened? Tell me that story. <laughs> okay, so um, I went to class one day and the um, lecturer was actually... The, um, our acting lecturer was teaching a little bit of makeup. So he taught us um, the Halloween makeup. Okay. So that was when I was like, this thing is nice. All along, I you know, I had passion for art. Like, it's a talent given to me, but I yeah. didn't know. So I saw it and it was looking so amazing. And I was like, okay, let me give it a try. So just I started, like that? Just like that. Now, prior to that, even when you were in primary and senior high school, you okay, didn't so, to draw and um, paint? Yeah, I used to do sketches, but I actually didn't pay attention to that. Ah. So it was later everything started occurring to me. I was like, oh, okay. So all along, I had it, but I didn't know. How different is this from the regular makeup? Okay, so this, I would say, is a little intense. Okay. And it, it needs more attention mm. than the normal makeup. Okay. Yeah. When you say it needs more attention. So do you have to sketch it before you create yes so basically you you would actually need to have the foresight you need to get at least um, a sketch mm -hmm. because sometimes stuff like this when the moment you try going deeper it becomes a little spiritual like it comes like that so yeah. not not spiritual okay. as in okay yeah, yeah so it, it actually not that one yeah not uh -huh. that one so it comes like that so sometimes you need to give a sketch so when the ideas start coming you need to try and put something down mm. so you don't actually forget because it doesn't come in full sometimes it comes in in bits so probably if okay. i want to do like this prosthetic arm you did this yourself yeah can you raise it for us to see it well maybe point it to the you did this with what silicone oh show it to us well <laughs> why, why are you hiding the thing so so this that is, is it. A, this is uh okay so with silicone see, yeah what's in there Looks like uh, meat. This, no, this is the bone. <laughs> so actually made with um, styrofoam. Ah. Yeah, so. Oh, interesting. Okay, what are some of the looks you have created? Okay, so I've done a lot of looks. I've done the uh, likes of the uh, zombies. I've done the likes of changing uh, characters, someone into Kwame Nkrumah from, oh. yeah, into JJ Rollins and okay. all those. I've done um, old age makeup. I've mm -hmm. done... Um, a little bit of editorial makeup trying to use paintings to create some beautiful looks on people mm. I actually did one recently that was like saturday yeah on saturday I actually did one 
uh, that the village of what that trend that was going on actually did my like last saturday mm -hmm. and actually created different looks mm -hmm. created a stone look created the um, uh, fiction look with painting that's okay. the um, uh, cosmetic makeup i see yeah okay so abigail is here she's our model and you're going to do something for us to see what do you have for us today um okay so today we are just going to do the normal basic cut yeah so that's the basic because oh, we don't want to go just okay. a cut on the on the arm, on the arm. Okay. we don't want to go too detailed mm. yeah. what would you need to make that okay so we 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 have what we call the um, scar wax okay and then we have the different types of blood so when it comes to different types of blood yes so which one is this? oh Oh. <laughs> okay, so when when we talk of different types of blood, we have what we call the thick blood. Okay. So this is the thick blood, and we have what we call the coagulated blood. So is, so the thick blood is what liquid? Is it liquid? It's or you have a to... little liquid. I see. So you see how it feels like? Oh my god! So this is how it feels like. Okay. So it comes in a darker tone, uh -huh. and then we have what we call the coagulated blood, and it also feels a little thick. Where did you get the blood from? Oh, no, no, no. We actually buy them, but we can also create. Uh, you know, one problem buy, we have... Is it human blood? Oh, it's not human <laughs> blood. One problem we have here in Africa, or let me say Ghana, yeah. to be precise, is we don't have shops that sell stuff sell like these. this. So, initially, I feel it's one challenge why people don't want to do special effects. Mm. Because if you don't have access to stuff like this, you can't do special... Unlike the normal makeup yeah, that is actually it. all over everywhere. Mm. We don't have these, so we don't do good special effects. So you but have then, to order online. You have to order online, and, and sometimes we do create ours. Oh, you have. But the, okay. yes, the ones we create are not really strong. It wouldn't last like if you're using these ones. Mm, okay, maybe yes. it's a business idea for you. you should of course think of opening a store soon. In Canada for special <laughs> effects makeup. But show us what you're going to do then. All right. So which part of her body are we going to use? Um, any part, anything. Abigail, you want your face, your your arm. Okay. All right. So let's just put the paper there so we don't soil the. Glass. Of course. Okay. okay. So, all right. So, as I was saying, we have the different types of blood. So, this actually oh, you want to stand? It makes yeah, it easier right. for you. Go ahead. So, okay. this is the squirt blood. So, it actually comes from the name squirting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, hey. yeah. Mm. So when when it's too wanna... early, it's too early, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, basically, before we start anything, we would like to clean the working area it's very important because special effect products are full of chemicals, chemicals and yeah once the person is has applied anything on the skin mm. you might go get reaction when you don't clean the place okay so we have to make sure we clean the working area i see the first thing you have to do so clean the working area okay and that's what rubbing alcohol yes mm -hmm. you can use rubbing alcohol we have uh, makeup removers this is also very good for okay. start and then finish when you're done you can easily take off your makeup okay all right so we are quickly going to mix our silicone okay so you always have to use silicone for what no you're we have we have different products we have depending on what you're doing what you're going to create mm. we have different ways of creating special effects that is where i feel it's it's a little different because your creativity counts mm. so we don't even we don't have fast and fixed way of doing something you can use different method i can actually decide to use liquid latex okay to still do the same kind of wound i want to do with the silicone okay depending okay. On, on the time all right are we okay yes i get it so but this is going to be a quick one so that's why you're using silicon. yes okay so i have this mixed nicely and then so you just have the equipment just like the painter exactly yeah. this is a dirty work so you don't have to get scared when working definitely you get messy mm -hmm. that is one rule people don't understand in special effects even in the hollywoods when people are working mm. the actors know you would have to get dirty mm. so they are used to it and you're but saying unlike, you learned all this here yeah have you had the chance to learn online to of you course know? that's how come i started everything i started watching videos online okay and the ideas started popping up okay. like that are there many of you in ghana yes we are not really many but we have okay. people who are doing special effects in okay. ghana but okay. we are few not really many. Mm. okay okay so i had to mix the um, A and then the B because okay. that's how it works. The silicone. 
even with a bigger we have very bigger sizes this is just a small sculpting mm. gel mm. you have to mix part a and then part b that Why? is how come no because if you apply only one part it's not going to work you have to mix two parts okay. before it works. I see. So if you want to do good special effect, you really need to get knowledge. You don't yeah. have to just come. You can't just get up and decide to do. Exactly. So, I mean, those makeup artists who suddenly say, you know what, I've graduated now, I'm going to add special <laughs> effects to it. You must okay, mix so A and B. Exactly. What do you have in this container? Okay, so this is actually um, a normal paint, the okay. acrylic paint, but then it's very good when you're doing special effects. You don't use poster colors. Because okay. poster colors, when it dries, it gives some funny effects. So uh -huh. we don't so you really have to use like acrylic them. paint. Yes, and we have other paints we use. We have what we call the Pax paint. We have different types. So depending on your the one you have available. Okay. Yes, the Pax paint is actually. If, more... if you can just turn it so the camera sees what you're doing, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, so that's the silicon that has gone brown now. Yes. So I'm just trying to get her skin tone. Oh. Is it close? Yeah, this is close. Okay. Okay. And you're saying that once you clean with rubbing alcohol, there's not going to be any side effects no, when you apply no, the makeup on the skin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, special effects stuff do burn, but it doesn't mean it's giving you reactions. They burn? It gives you some small itchy effects. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, it's part of the the game so okay. we actually try to prep the actors anytime we are about working on them mm. so we make you understand that it is not always when it's giving you that effect meaning you are getting yeah, reactions okay. so that's irritated. how come we try to clean the working area before we work so you yeah. you're safe okay okay let's apply it now and see okay so just take a little piece there we go right mm. So you have to actually blend it very well so it feels just like the skin. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's even blended already. Exactly. I can't wait to see what he's going to add to it. I'm sure there'll be some blood here and there yeah. to make it look real okay, but how, so how many movies while you're working by the way um, how many okay, movies so, have you done so far uh, countless counts okay but, uh, the last time i actually counted uh, i've done both movies and music videos and okay you do all kinds yes. as long as special effects makeup is required yes mm. so i've done 30 films oh, including the short film feature okay. film and short films mm. and then um three music videos mm. yes okay okay and then um does this pay for now it is not paying so why are you still doing it i'm doing it because i have hoped i'm i'm five years back when i was doing when i started doing special effect i didn't see this improvement mm. so i feel there's more future to this okay. than today so when you say so. it's not paying you carry on keep working <laughs> but when you say it's not paying so how much do you charge okay so when I started, I don't really charge because I wanted to do more of the voluntary work so people will actually get to know of the special effects. And the commando. Oh, no, it's fine. It's, oh, yeah, it's sure. normal, yes. Because, you know, special effect has no, it's not like the normal makeup that people mm. know. And yeah. So we have to create the awareness. Mm -hmm. So once the awareness is created, then, you, then can. you can make your money from it. Okay. Great. So, so you were stand, doing voluntary for how long? For four years. Huh? Yes. Four it, years of voluntary easy. work. It not, it's not easy because, you know, even Nigerians, Nigerians are now buying into the idea of special effects. Okay. And it took a lot of people to actually sacrifice for it to get to this level. Mm. So me and my fellow colleagues are actually you are trying the to do... sacrificial lambs. Yes. But then we are hoping this mm. is going to make wave in Ghana here. I and hope I have, so too. I have love, like I have the spirit that yeah. this is going to really going to pay. I really hope so. Most movies, anything we do, even special if it is not just about the bloody stuff. Mm. Even when you are creating a movie and someone is supposed to sweat. That's also special effects. That There's is a special way you effects, create yes, it. Because if a character is supposed to do a scene in scene two and the person will run in scene one, we might not shoot that scene first. We yeah. might shoot the scene two. So have you have to. to create, imagine how the person ran and so just create that sweat 
So there wouldn't be any discontinuity. That's the thing I don't understand about movies. So <laughs> why don't you shoot A before you shoot B? Why do you have to go and shoot? Sometimes they shoot scene 30 before they come and shoot scene 1. Why? What is the explanation behind this? Anyway, we're creating um, a scar um you know on her skin that's our big girl our model and of course we have also in the studios nathaniel he's a special effects makeup and facilitator and he's just telling us what it's like to be a special effects makeup so now you're dabbing it yes why i want to kill the shine okay and then it will look more like the skin so if it wasn't pain how are you surviving did you have any other job on the side that you were doing um or were you he, taking money from your parents oh no i was not taking money from my parents so, so how in as so much as it was no, we, we it's not paying at least we we do get you something something yeah okay but just that we are not being paid as we but now it started to. paying a bit yeah it started paying a bit so naturally how much would you take if you have to go and do special effects on a movie set? okay so it would depend on um the script and what we are going to do so, so for something like this for something like this I might give you just my daily rates because okay. it's not really involving anything mm. big. But if it's so big, then we're actually going to look at the charges. Why are you not saying the daily rates? No, no, the like daily rate. No, as it stands, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> as it stands, my rates um, is $350 a day. You charge in dollars? Yes. But we've been told not to charge no, in dollars. No, it's just, you have to do the conversion. Like, you just convert it into C. This is simple. Wait, let me calculate. <laughs> hey, hold on. You carry on with your work. Let's calculate and see how much our young man is making. Uh, what's the rate now? 5.1 or 6.1? 5.9. Like Let's it's, do it. 5.9. Hey, 2,000 Ghana cities. See, cool. Already it's yes. Cool it's cool. It's not I expensive. I see. Because okay. these stuffs, these stuffs are very expensive. Expensive. If, yeah. If I tell you how much this costs, you'd yeah. be surprised. And you have to Just, ship it. So you extra have to cost. ship it. It's like it's very expensive. Mm, okay. Yeah. So even that is cheap. Mm. We are still trying to increase it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> You still want okay. to go beyond this. Of course. Don't do that to us. So what next? Okay, so right now I want to quickly put a little of the brown. Okay. So it feels a little... I would have to put a little of the Is brown. it not the same brown you used on her skin? Yes. Okay, but, but you're going to make I'll it put, darker. Yes, I'll put a little of the okay. black. So I'll just go all over this. You're mixing black with brown? Yes, to make it darker. Hmm. I thought this was simple. It's never simple. <laughs> so usually how long will it take to create? So it also depends okay, on so the... yeah, when we are estimating special effects, we actually estimate from 15 minutes and above. Okay, okay. So it can even take you as long as 6 to 12 hours. Hours, okay. Because trying to do transformations like old age transformation mm. and then fiction characters like aliens and all those yeah you have to take a longer time okay so some makeup artists do a lot of work when it comes to special effects mm. so movies like um maleficent mm -hmm. she actually sat in the makeup chair for like 12 hours to have those things drawn on her cheekbones so every morning I they see. do that 12 hours yeah oh my god so i think it's almost dried now so we can do our cutting okay so now you're going to cut based on the objects the trauma caused to the skin what kind of trauma are we trying to create okay so depict, we are trying depict. to we are trying to depict um probably an accident scene so it's a cut Okay. from a sharp object I, i'll need you to bring your arm in a little so that our camera is not uh, exactly can we see it now is it better okay yes ah this looks real okay so ah. we take this gently you need to be very careful ah. okay all right so just take this piece off oh you're taking it off completely not completely so oh. I mean this is you know just wax but it still looks so real eh We are not done wait We are nowhere near eh? Okay all right So we have 
two ways of doing this we have different ways of doing it. you can start with the tissue first uh -huh. we create the tissue inside before we come create oh, the skin around it okay okay you get it okay. and then but that this takes is longer that takes longer mm. and also when we are creating the prosthetic version of this we have to mold the the shape the of the yeah. cuts and then we actually cast it and then we use the silicone and create mm. it. it's a long process that mm. one can even take you like a week mm. okay so that one you do that in the house how are you managing during COVID? Because the movie industry was literally what? Hibernating yeah. the whole time. It was, it, was, it was on a hiatus for like a year. <laughs> it was I don't hell. even know if it still is. I've seen that at least now the movie industry is picking up. So I don't know how you would... It was, it was hell because during the COVID time, things were like bad because mm. no movies, nothing. And all we have to do is sit in our homes and do TikTok. It's, it's bad. Oh, so you were doing videos of your work? Yes. I and was posting just doing, on TikTok? Exactly. I actually did a miniature building. Oh, okay. I used cardboards to actually create a miniature building. Oh, I see. It was just... So we actually need more attention drawn to special effects. Mm. Yes. Because this is the future for Ghana movie industry, entertainment yeah. industry. Mm. So if attention is drawn to this, we'll be very happy. Because it needs a lot of creativity and... A lot of ideas goes into this. Trying to get this mm -hmm. is not easy. Yeah. So not easy. All right. So once we are done with this, mm -hmm. we just go in for our thick blood. Okay. We're going for our thick blood. Okay. Let's put our coagulated blood first. This feels more thick. Okay. So when you want to create effects like a dried blood, mm. you can use this. So you see how it feels like? It's yeah. so sticky. Yeah. All right, so we put this inside because this actually makes the wound feels deep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so real. Okay. Okay. And then. Mm. You don't know where it's going on, man. <laughs> well, if you just seen you know, it, this is Nathaniel. He is a, um, a special effects makeup artist, and he's showing us a bit of his work. Uh, it's been tough for him during the COVID period, but now things are picking up, and so we're hoping that moving forward, you know, this in the, this part of the industry can also thrive. Um, you have any? Do you guys have an association of special effects makeup artists? Yeah, um, assistants. We are. We are now makeup we are under makeup ghana okay, okay they are actually trying to put all the makeup artists together yeah. we are trying to sanitize the industry even the normal makeup assistants still need yeah, san still sanitization need some, so yeah we, we are actually doing that so along the line when we get a lot of people doing the special effects then we are how many are you in by the way special um, effects you must assistant. be few yeah we, we are very few like okay 10 or just like, about 10 yeah. the whole country yes okay so now we're putting the the thick thick blood yes so this one goes in here all right so you see you can just use your hand you dab around here okay and that's supposed to give it a more natural look exactly so this should have tried more okay So I'm just going to pull my liquid blood and that's going to do the magic. This does look real. Oh, more blood. Yes. So this, the liquid blood. Hey. So this feels more reddish. So this is actually going to give us the variation between the... Mm. What was the response on TikTok when you were posting your videos? Um... It was amazing, mm. but not as we expected. Okay. But I think it's picking up. Now it's picking up. Yes. People are seeing you more. Exactly. Are you only on TikTok or you do it on Instagram? No, I'm more on the Instagram and Facebook than the TikTok. Okay. Yes. Because mm. TikTok, when I do post some of my things, they say I violated their stuff because it's more of like bloody stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. so you're unable to. Yes. Mm. 
Do people discourage you sometimes? Um, I have that. I actually had that long time when I was beginning, but now mm. they are buying into the idea. Okay. But when I started, it was like very much because people were like, the industry is there, then you are deciding to do this. So mm. I saw it from a different perspective. So I decided to pursue it. And now... Were your parents disappointed that you chose special effects makeup over acting? Because I'm sure they're like, but we took you to school to go and act. <laughs> Why are you dealing with blood? <laughs> anyway, my mom was so surprised when she heard I was doing special effects because I'm the type, I'm very scared of blood. When I see this, I can't eat. If I watch horror films, I can't eat, I can't sleep. Yeah. So she was amazed I was doing special effects. And she was like, she would not believe until she sees me do it. So now she's seen you do it? She's happy. She's happy about <laughs> it. I mean, listen, we all watch all these zombie movies and we can't sleep for long. I don't know how you're going to manage creating it yourself must be interesting so this is now looking more realistic okay so this is giving us the variation now in the yeah, blood we can see the real. dark blood we can it really looks real exactly. oh this is nice i mean not nice as in no not like <laughs> nice but creative because it looks very real hey Okay. Are we going to add anything else? No. This is it? Yeah. Oh, I love this. Well done, Nathaniel. <laughs> well done. Thank this you. is This is nice. So you can recreate looks. I mean, like you said, you can make me look like what? Kwame Kuma? Yeah. At a sitting and all that. Yeah. Ah. Have you had any, anybody from maybe, I mean, of course you're saying you're under Makeup Ghana, but then, you know, the creative arts industry, tourism. Has anybody ever reached out to your team nope, to see what they can do to support? Yep, actually not done that. Are you expecting it though? Of course. Mm. What are you expecting that they'll be able to do for you? Okay, so like try to invest into our sector mm. by creating more opportunities like people bringing like creating schools mm. so people can actually learn. Because once you don't have people learning this, you don't get people to join the team yeah great yeah so and also trying to bring more investors into the country based on stuff like this mm. like we have more makeup companies that if they actually go as in a, um, a country or a body they will buy or reach into it than we the individuals really going into yeah. that so we have the likes of Caroline we have the like of the likes of Miron Graftobian mm. so these are brands that people don't know of yeah not the normal um, the regular uh, makeup regular brands, makeup that, we brands know. that we know okay well there should be an avenue for young people talented people like this to also receive some help um i think that they are creative and we clearly have seen it's visible what they can do and so i hope that something can be done about it. if you had the opportunity to meet the president today what would you tell him <laughs> i'm sure you've thought about it um okay so with the meeting the president it would it would be an honor to meet him in the mm. first place and we have a lot of things in line. We, it's a paperwork we have to give to the president. The president is watching you now. You're saying that we have a lot of it. He's watching okay. you now. He says, can be the chairman. <laughs> One thing that okay. you say to him. Mr. President, we need you to really invest into us because okay. we are the future of Ghana entertainment industry. Mm. We want more attention drawn to us. We want more shops. We want more products. We want more investment into our sector. Mm. Please pay attention to our sector. Definitely. How can we find you on social media? Okay, so you can follow me on Instagram, Cruz underscore K. Okay. And on Facebook. And the Cruz is the regular spelling? Yes. C-R-U-I-S-E. No, K-R-U-Z underscore K. Okay, K-R-U-Z underscore K. K. Okay, and then across on, the board. On Facebook, Nathaniel Cruz. And then on Twitter, Cruz K4. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much, Cruz. And very creative work. Uh, I wish you the very best. And I believe Abigail is what, one of your students? Yes. Okay, so she's also learning to be uh, a creative, well, a special effects makeup 
is she a regular makeup artist? She's not Mike, so she won't. No, she to... she does more of the cosmetology. Oh, I see. So... And now she wants to add this to it. Exactly. Beautiful. I wish you both the very best and to the creative arts industry as well. This is another aspect that we need to pay attention, close attention to, and support it. So let's do our best. And Ghanaians, let's embrace some of these things as well for our creative arts industry to thrive. Nathaniel Amelga is um, a special effects makeup artist and a facilitator. Abigail has been his model. Quick one. A happy birthday.